real quick, I think we do need to touch on uh, a few of us here attended the Arnold Classic. NXT <laughs> was there. Um, I was there um, on assignment uh, of sorts, helping out uh, Mainstream Matt with KDKA. And actually, we got to talk with uh, several NXT guys. We talked to Corey Graves, uh, a friend of the show, Sterling James Keenan over the years. Uh, I got to catch up with Cesaro and talk about IWC as well. Um, you know, formerly Claudio, Claudio Castagnoli. It's been around here. Uh, but also, again, I got to talk to Alexa Bliss and um, and Baron Corbin. And I got to say, guys, Baron Corbin has won my heart and mind after this. And despite the fact that <laughs> afterwards my Instagram was doing homages to him of uh, telling Jen Carlin to eat that food at Max and Irma's. Um, but, uh, but no, I, I thought it was a really good experience. Uh, like I said, we talked about that a little bit earlier. They kind of had their own section and it was lit by itself separately because it looked like it was just kind of thrown in the corner at the at, 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 at in a in a in a convention center last year right like they actually had their own lighting they had a giant screen up and it was pretty cool nxt experience in the middle of the arnold classic I mean, Arnold classic is like this bodybuilding and then there's all these booths all lined up around the, the everything um and it, was, and it was really it was a really really cool experience um i only got to see like three matches after everything i was running around with uh, to be honest, but uh, you guys got to catch a little bit there. You were you were, you were, you were hanging out. Uh, what were your impressions of NXT at the Arnold? Well, um, me and Elliot went to the Arnold two years ago, and there was like a WWE experience thing at that time too. And basically, what it was was a cardboard cut out a Kurt Angle, and then an arrow pointing downstairs. <laughs> and me and Elliot went downstairs, and there was nothing there. There was just nothing. It was just this cardboard cut out a Kurt Angle that's pointing to nothing. So what the hell? I know it was really what? disappointing. What? So <laughs> was it a trap? I think it was a and trap. And you were late? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was actually a portal to uh WWE Pile Driver Niagara Falls. It just like shot you right over there like it was a Super Mario Brothers green pipe. So I'm glad that neither Elliot or uh, nor I got shot over to uh Niagara Falls. But I was impressed. Um unfortunately, me and Elliot had to watch a bunch of Eastern Europeans that probably chew diana ball for breakfast and take hgh for dessert uh stick wrestle each other and then lift 440 pound logs over their heads so me personally i the nxt thing was really cool the setup was really neat if you're a member of the audience you could sign up to try your hand in being an nxt superstar and what that entailed was having albert scream at you to do flips in the ring while you know that's pretty cool but we only saw the Eva Marie match, um, which actually wasn't half bad. No, it wasn't honestly, that bad. She's like on the the Ivy chick, yeah, who, who right, I saw wrestle twice. Right. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, that's my two cents. What did you think, Elliot? The setup was out. The setup was outstanding. Um, what they what they did that I thought worked really well was the fact that they had the ring and everything. They had the whole NXT experience set up um, right as you walked in. So you were able to go straight to it and then kind of make your way around the rest of the expo. It was really easy to get in and out of. There was like plenty of seating too. So if you wanted to just chill out and watch wrestling all day, you totally could have done it. Mm-hmm. Um, like uh, I, I really only caught the uh, Arnold uh, Triple H face off, which was excellent. The Eva Marie match. And uh, the training session featuring Prince Albert and uh, <laughs> uh, Enzo Enzo Amore, which was yeah, actually pretty right. entertaining. Um, right. So that was pretty cool. But um, the whole experience was, was actually pretty awesome. So I definitely suggest it's worth your ten dollar entrance fee. It was only ten dollars to get into that thing. It was ten dollar. It was thirty dollars for three tickets. So if you got three friends, it's going to be ten dollars a piece. Holy crap! So it, you know, it's it's a deal and a half. You're going to see some pretty awesome stuff. So I, I, mean, I suggest everybody go. I was going to say, considering like you can't get tickets in Pittsburgh when they come through, I imagine it was probably the same when they were in Columbus and Cleveland. Yep. So to drop ten bucks, you're you're getting in at that right. point and just go to go yeah. check out a day of NXT. Like, yeah. and you mean, I'm sure it's a little different, but there were fun matches. What I saw. Yeah, of them, and and it was nine to five. I mean, you could spend the whole day there. Yeah, yeah. I I saw the list. There was there was actually um a list on one of the sites of of all the matches from the day, and oh, there wow. were like twenty matches. Yeah, 
crazy. We walked in, and it was like, um, it was right after the Arnold thing, and they did a Q&A with Triple H, which is on WWE.com. Um, and, like, the next match was Baron Corbin and Finn Balor. And we're like, yeah. we're like, is Finn Balor curtain jerking here? But, again, they've been on since 9 o'clock in the morning. Right. That's crazy. And, and a few of them, of course, wrestling uh, twice. They had lineups for, um, they, of course, had lineups for, um, um, autographs throughout the day. Um, uh, uh, that was really funny. Did you guys notice this? There was a lot. There were a lot of autograph sessions with wrestlers that you have not seen on TV yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, like King Constantine, I think, is one of them. Um, but uh, Johnny Gargano, uh, a friend of the show, oh, yeah. was a part of the show nice. as well. Um, but no, it was. And, and these pictures, if you're on video, um, are actually from uh, Jen Carlin's. Um, who was there on on hand as well? There, there, there. We are hanging with Baron Corbin. Um, Corbin was awesome. Uh, he, you know, we, we got to chat it up with with a few of the people there on and off camera. But uh, he he probably talked with us, you know, just as long off camera as he did beforehand. And and, and I asked him about because he was talking about how everything's clicking and the guys that he's learning from. And um, I because hey man, we've you guys have had this discussion and we've had discussion before about you know back in that one like around the Samoa Joe tag team. Uh, 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 arrival or what? Or takeover or whatever. I was like, I was like, hey, we've been talking about like, you know, is that when things started? Do you feel that's when things started clicking for you? And he's like, absolutely. That's when he he got it right. Like it started kicking in and 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 it was easy. Um, so um, also super tall dude, and and that's I'm six four, and this guy <laughs> dwarfed me, and I was like, wow. Um, like my eyeline is his chin. So, but no, really cool, really awesome. Uh, there's also a really cool thing. So they had this kind of production tower on the one side our platform where they had the camera that goes to the big screen. And there was a point where uh, triple H was just like sitting up there. Like they, they, they filmed some spot up there probably for the network. Um, but he turned around and just wa- him watching the tryouts, Albert mm. screaming at everybody for an cool. hour. Um, and uh, it was kind of, it was just like, it was an interesting scene of just like seeing triple H looking at the potential future of his company. Um, I don't know. It, 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 that was that was kind of a special moment for me. Again, thanks, Jen Carlins. If you want to check it out, um, I believe these are all. And there's Jen with Corbin, and of all people, she looks the tiniest next to him. So, um, I kind of want to go back next year just to go check out the NXT stuff. To be yeah, quite honest, absolutely. it's not a bad trip from Pittsburgh. It's like three hours for us. Right. Um, and and it was a lot of fun. I, you know, I was it, you know maybe we'll have the opportunity to talk with these guys again or something through some other means. But uh, really, really awesome, really worth it. If you're in the area, if you're in driving distance to Columbus, check out the Arnold with nothing else for this. And there's, I, I don't know about the rest of it. I'm not really into the rest of it yeah. myself, um, but, uh, but really interesting. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, with that, 